Hi everyone, I'm Tony from SEOS.com. About one year ago today, we released a package called VYR Boson Fixed Mount to integrate quickly and conveniently the thermal camera flip boson on top of a DJI Mavic. Uh, since then, the idea is probably likable, so it's spread about, and even DJI, one year later, released a DJI Mavic Enterprise to feature, you know, something on top of DJI Mavic 2. We've been asked by a lot of people to see if we can make a package that is even more economical than this uh, VWire Boson. And I'm today very pleased to announce the, um, that is the VWire Lapton, the package right here in my hand. So similar to the FLIR, the VWire Boson uh, by SUAS.com, um, it also, it, you know, you can remove the UI boson and install this on top of the Mavic and fly it. Uh, it also uh, attached to other drones like Mavic 2 and Phantom 4 etc. And if you want to save a little more like say $100 you can use your own tablet uh, similar to this one right here an Android one and you can send you a receiver for you to view the video on the uh, tablet and you can save $100 so say about $700, everything uh, more or less. So it's very tempting to switch from VWare Boson to a VWare Lepton, right? Uh, before we do so, I'm very, I, I try to be very clear up front uh, that this is not, for, is not meant for uh, professional works. You will need something like 220 resolution or more, like 640. Uh, this camera, Lepton, the tiny little one, is is 160 by 120. It's very low resolution by quarter, one-fourth of the pixels by the FLIR boson and one-sixteenth of that of the FLIR boson uh, 640 or the FLIR View Pro. Also, it's uh, 9 hertz instead of 30 hertz or 60 hertz. Um, However, during this video, I'm going to show you what can you do with this. Uh, maybe you can have a feeling, uh, have a real sense of what it is and what it can do. Okay, here we have extra footage from a VWare laptop mounted on a DJI Mavic 1 in four different scenes. You can see cars, buildings, objects, trees, people, skies. You can see a tiny little person walking on the bottom right corner and you can see it picks up quite a bit of details in every scenes but sometimes the contrast might be an issue like the ones on the left side and now we provide comparison with the UIR boson 220 and 640 in similar situations in scenes you can see of course the boson offers much more details and contrast but sometimes you can see it a little bit comparable between a viewer lepton and boson, for example, two on the right side. Here is direct comparison between a viewer boson 640 and viewer lepton. Both were mounted on the same DJI Mavic one. You can see the contrast of the contrasts and the details as well. So you can see for yourself which one you would prefer. Also, the Fleur Lepton package right here, uh, we feature a one button to change color palettes. Uh, for example, here, you can change color palettes uh, by pressing this button on the body of the fixed mount. It follows by its own, it has a battery inside here. You can push it out. I said it has its own video transmitter. So you can see it's on a monitor here or on a tablet right here. Um, and it has a DVR and an SD card for recording everything uh, live from the uh, Flip Laptop. If you like Flip Laptop, the chances are you like hacking in general. Um, so by hacking we mean that we make it so you can remove the camera frame from the uh, boson fix mount to mount it on the DJI gimbals, like that of the Phantom 4 here, or the Inspire one here. 
you can buy a flexible cable from us, and then you can mount it on the side of the cable of, of the DJI camera. So here we're demoing the hacking of the DJI gimbals. We've attached the viewer lepton next to the uh, gimbals of the Phantom 4 Pro and the uh, Inspire 1. So you can see the footage is much more stable and smoother. And on the Phantom 1, you can attach viewer lepton next to the gimbal and balance it out with coins like US quarters or 2 euro coins. On the Inspire 1, because of the size and the weight of the drone, it allows us to attach the second thermal system, which is called the viewer uh, touch standard for the Flaview Pro 640 and here you can see a direct comparison of the footage from those two systems. You can see very um, interesting comparison here. And here's some of the indoor footage using the Vue Air Lepton. You can see a 3D printer printing and a person working next to his desk. You can see the temperature readings as well. So, okay, so here we have a Boson 320 6.3 millimeter. Left on 3.5. Uh, boson F. Left on F. Okay. White hot. Both. Of course, the left left on is lower, 9 hertz. The boson is 60 hertz. The camera video is smoother. So one of our burning questions is that how far away can you see things with our VR left on, VR boson? your touch pro standard at TAF HD using Flavio Pros, etc. So we have worked it out for you using trigonometry and we have come up with a brief, simple formula, straightforward. And uh, if you need a calculator, we have published it on our website. Please go to sus.com, click on thermal solution. And then please go to the bottom of the page. You will see those calculators uh, right here. And here you enter the field view resolution and we'll show you the distance at which the maximum distance is which you can see things. And if you don't remember the field view of the cameras, we have compiled the exhausted list right here on top. And here we are outdoor testing out our theory. Everything is just an approximation and it depends on uh, situations, of course. But we want to, we hope to provide you with real sense of what's going on. And a D-Max cal calculated using the formula for a lepton is about 34 meters. And in fact, within 24 meters, you can see a person pretty well on the lepton side. But if you uh, go twice as much distance, you don't see that person anymore. But on a Filivu Pro, of course, the D-Max is much larger, as you can see well, of course. And you can see at different angles here, um, you know, if you reduce the distance to about the theoretical range of 34 meters, like right here, you can start to see that person on the left-hand side. And here we're testing a VWare Boson 220 with a theoretical D-Max of about 100 meters. And it turns out within this clip that that is the borderline to detect the person just as the theory predicts. And here's some of the outdoor tests for range. You can see we uh, flew it about 400 meters away. But in fact, uh, in, theory, uh, in practice, you can fly a little more than that, maybe twice as much in distance. Go home. If you like the idea in general, please give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. So next time we have a video, you'll be notified immediately uh, so you won't miss it. Thank you for watching this and thanks so much for your attention. Have a safe flight everyone.